wow, this is really a powerful protocol. You get stronger, which feels great. But what I noticed was that my overall posture and my ability to maintain cardiovascular output was also vastly improved. I also just felt better overall. I had a lot more energy after those workouts than I typically do after my resistance training sessions. I didn't get sore. The three by five protocol is very straightforward. It involves doing Now, some of you may already be doing low repetition, pure strength work, but I believe that most people don't. Most people who do resistance training are using either machines or free weights or some combination of those, or perhaps are using body weight. And they tend to focus on repetition ranges from about five and usually more like six repetitions out to about 10 and perhaps 15 repetitions. Now, of course, doing resistance training in repetition ranges of five to 15 reps per set, provided it's done at sufficient intensity, so either to failure or close to failure, of course in good form, is tremendously beneficial. It can help build strength, it can enhance hypertrophy. There is tremendous value to training in those repetition ranges. But when I sat down with Dr. Andy Galpin to discuss resistance training specifically, he made it very clear that at least for some portion of one's yearly training cycle, so perhaps eight weeks or 10 weeks, or in the case that I adopted, 12 weeks, there is tremendous benefit to training in the three to five repetition range and maybe even lower. So the second tool of training specifically for strength in this three to five repetition range is something that I started to incorporate after I sat down to record that series. And I'll just tell you a few of the benefits that I've experienced and then I'll tell you the specific protocol that makes it very easy to do this. The most obvious benefit to me was that I got much stronger and that that strength persisted such that when I went back to using higher repetition ranges, so typically I trained with weights or machines in the six to 10 repetition range, sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower, but never before had I specifically trained in the three to five repetition range exclusively for a period of 10 to 12 weeks. And when I did that, I of course gained strength, but that strength stayed with me such that when I returned to higher repetition ranges, I could use more weight in good form. And that of course enhanced strength and hypertrophy further. In addition, there was another effect that was at least to me very unexpected, which was that my cardiovascular training improved significantly. Now, why would this be? Because typically a three to five repetition set does not elevate the heart rate for long enough that you would consider it cardiovascular training. And of course, the rest periods between those sets is pretty long as well. So even if heart rate goes up during those heavy sets, it's gonna go down during those long three to five minute rest periods between those sets. But what I noticed was that my overall posture and my ability to maintain cardiovascular output while using good running form or good rowing form was also vastly improved. And the logical interpretation of why that would be is simply that the muscles got stronger and those same muscles are being incorporated into the cardiovascular, let's call it endurance work that I'm doing on other days. And therefore I can carry out those cardiovascular training sessions in better form for longer periods of time. I actually felt much stronger during my cardiovascular training as I got much stronger moving these heavier weight loads for low repetition sets. And then the third specific benefit that I noticed is that when training heavy for three to five repetitions per set, I didn't get sore. And this to me was an incredible benefit because typically when I train in the six repetition to 15 repetition range, and I take those sets to failure or near failure, I do experience some soreness the next day. Ordinarily that soreness isn't so intense that it prevents me from doing any of the other sorts of workouts that I do. And for those of you that have visited that foundational fitness protocol, you know that I hit each major and minor muscle group once per week directly, as well as once per week indirectly. That's the overall structure of that program. In order to allow sufficient recovery between those resistance training workouts to be able to make continual progress. Now, by training in this three to five repetition range that Dr. Andy Galpin suggested, I was able to improve my strength, improve my cardiovascular output, reduce soreness. I also just felt better overall. I had a lot more energy after those workouts than I typically do after my resistance training sessions when I use higher repetition ranges. There are just a number of different things that made me feel, wow, this is really a powerful protocol. 
And of course, moving heavier weights in the gym feels good too. It feels good to get stronger. At least there's a positive feedback loop there for me and I think for most people. And I should also mention that for those of you that are averse to doing heavier resistance training in this three to five repetition range, because you fear that it will make you too big or too bulky, training in the low repetition ranges is actually more geared towards increasing strength and is shifting away somewhat from increasing hypertrophy or muscle size. So that's a great benefit for those of you that want to be strong and also want to maintain cardiovascular fitness, but you don't want to add muscular size. And of course, for all of you that want to add muscular size, it's well established that increasing your strength will allow you then to return to patterns of hypertrophy training that will allow you to use heavier weights and therefore induce greater hypertrophy. So there are oh so many reasons to incorporate these strength training protocols. So the way that Dr. Andy Galpin suggested one do it and was the way that I did it is to use this three by five protocol. The three by five protocol is very straightforward. It involves doing three to five exercises per workout. Okay, so if it's a workout for legs, it's three to five exercises. If it's a workout for some upper body muscle, it's three to five exercises three to five exercises for three to five sets per exercise, three to five repetitions per set, and three to five minutes of rest between each set. In addition, he emphasized that one can do those workouts three to five times per week, although I'm going to put an asterisk next to that last statement because I found that I couldn't do the three by five protocol, say for legs specifically, three to five times per week. I realize that might be possible for some people, but I'm somebody who, like many of you out there, either doesn't have the time or doesn't have the recovery capacity to train my legs three to five times per week. Even though I acknowledge that there are probably ways to do that that would still allow me to recover, it just simply starts to impede into other areas of training. It starts to impede other areas of life, like work and family and sleep and all the rest. So what I did, and what I'm suggesting you try, is for any existing resistance training that you're doing, to take a period of eight or 10 or ideally 12 weeks and do the vast majority, if not all of that resistance training in the lower repetition range that's designed specifically to induce strength adaptations. And to not pay attention to whether or not you're hitting that same muscle group three to five times per week. Rather, if you train your legs once or twice per week, to simply do all of the work for your legs in that three to five repetition range. If you train an upper body muscle or muscle groups, chest, shoulders, back, once per week or twice per week, to just stay within that three to five repetition range for those work sets, right? Warm-ups can include a few more reps. And then to adhere to this three to five exercises, three to five sets per exercise, three to five repetitions per set, and three to five minutes between sets. Now, the one exception to this that I incorporated was that for very small muscle groups, so for instance, the rear deltoids, or for neck work, or for calf work, to not rely purely on three to five repetitions, but maybe to work in a range of anywhere from five to eight repetitions. So still fairly low repetitions, but not so low that it restricts you to three to five repetitions. The reason for that is that I, and I think a lot of people out there, find it hard to fatigue those smaller muscle groups adequately with good form when restricting oneself to those low repetitions. However, for big compound movements like presses and squats and deadlifts and glute ham raises and things of that sort, maybe even leg extensions and leg curls, which are isolation exercises, of course, to really restrict oneself to those three to five repetition ranges that take you to failure or near failure. I listed off the benefits of doing that that I experienced, and I'm confident that you will also experience a lot of benefits. So just to remind you what some of those benefits are, you get stronger, which feels great. That occurs within your weight workouts, but it also carries over to your endurance training sessions. I also noticed that when returning to higher repetitions for resistance training, that you can move much heavier weights in good form and thereby induce more hypertrophy while still also continuing to gain some strength. 